Okay. Got the knuckles, got the tractors. Got it all going here. Uh, I believe. Yeah, well, I can get untangled. There we go. Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and uh, this is Glycon. Glycon is a, um, <clears throat> as a motion capture platform for virtual reality. And the way it works is pretty simple. Uh, you have a rig that you can wear, you know, your usual motion capture rig. And then also you have uh, this system that allows you to record things and then um, play back that, that recording. So for example, um, let's see here. Here is the uh, outside environment where you can record. Anything you record here is going to automatically be uh, dumped into your recording. There are the instructions over there. Pop back in here. So we've got a, a cursor now. And we've got a bunch of area for new features. That it's all going to go up here. Basically, anything you click up here will affect the sidebars. Okay, this is a new thing in the next version of Blackon. Uh, we also have uh, the ability to scale your avatar, and this is a general scale for the entire avatar. And very soon we'll have an area over here that lets you precisely set all the body measurements. Uh, for right now, this is what you get. It's a scale, general scale. So, and this doesn't necessarily equal your height. Um, this is just a, a very simple scaling system for the avatar itself. And it's kind of cool because you can enter it really, you can make yourself uh, very small and then, you know, hey, uh, like that, um, or, you know, whatever size you might be. Um, and this I found to be kind of sensitive to location of everything from trackers to all kinds of stuff. So I just uh, put kind of a general solution in there for people and I'll let you figure out what works best for you. Next up we have uh, virtual sets, which you may be familiar with. This allows you to create things in three-dimensional space that you can then interact with later on in your movie when you're out here in the record mode. You could say, oh, uh, hello you, I did not see you there. I will pet you on your head, cute little dog thing like that, okay? And then what you do is uh, you hop back into your 3D environment and you swap that out with your high-res dog, or llama in the case. So that's what that is. Hop back in here, and we can delete these also, just like that. Okay, uh, next up we have trackers. These are additional Vive trackers. Um, if you have additional Vive trackers, you can, uh, you, you can use them. Okay, so here we're gonna hit click on uh, Begin Setup, and we get this cool little doll over here, and we're gonna pick him up. Now, as you'll see, T1 is showing up over here. T1 is a foot tracker, and I've got it down here on the ground. And I'm going to designate this foot here as T1, which it currently set to. Uh, but we're going to set it instead to this other foot over here. Okay, now click Save. And as you can see, my foot is, uh, is down there next to, the, next to the ground where the tracker is. Uh, we're going to set that up again. Grab this guy again. Click on that foot, T1, save, and now my foot is there. And if I move my foot around, it does that. Now I've got the tracker rotated wrong on my foot. Uh, there we go, a little better. Now I'm still working on getting all the trackers and the height location and everything else set up properly. And here's why this is a tricky thing. If you take a look at this guy here, okay. Let's look at his foot for a second. See how the Vive tractor is on that foot? Well, that's at an angle. And not necessarily, your, your foot tracker might not actually match this orientation either. So I'm gonna need to have some kind of better solution for this in general that lets you kind of tweak the angle and everything else. Because right now it's expecting this to be at an angle and my foot in these shoes is more of a flat. Uh, if, I had it, if I had it on different shoes, it would be uh, different. Also, if you'll notice, my other foot is in the ground because it's trying to track the ground for the IK, while this one is in the air a little bit. That's because this foot is attached to the actual location of the tracker and not where the, the, the foot should be the center of the bottom of the foot. So I'm gonna need to add a few tweaks here to make this work right. Um, if you didn't have a system like this, it would be really difficult to actually make this work right. So I'm really surprised that people are getting good results at all from other systems because they don't have, a, as far as I can tell, a very elaborate system for precisely setting up all of these trackers. And that's what Glycon is going to have in the very near future. So we've got this here connected to my foot. 
Uh, I can also attach it to things like my elbow, right? So what I can do here is, I'm gonna set him down for a second. I'm going to disconnect this from my foot. My leg rolling around in circles there. And uh, I'm going to attach this to my elbow. And I have an actual, uh, see it's still attached to my foot. I'm just gonna set my, my foot here on the chair behind me while I grab my uh, foot tracker. I mean my arm tracker, just a second. So. I've got this armband, and I will uh, post a video of this in a bit. Um, I bought this armband for $10 at Academy. I'm gonna put my, my uh, hand controllers down while I attach this. And the way this works is really simple. I have 3D printed a special clip that goes on the armband. It'll go on any armband. And all you have to do is attach an armband to your arm and then put this clip on there. So I'm doing this while I have my VR headset on. It's not difficult. Uh, I can fumble around and find my way to find all the pieces to it. Uh, if you set this up ahead of time, it's gonna be even easier. And I'm going to just stick this um, tracker on the, it, it, it partially inserts, and I'll show you um, a picture of that on the website or maybe in this video if I get around to editing the video later. Uh, I will show you what that insert looks like. And so what I wanna do is, I'm gonna put this on my bicep, facing forward. Now you can, if you look at the, at the avatar here, you can see that there are a number of different ways you can set that. Uh, in this case, facing forward works really well if you wanna sit down, okay? So I'm going to, <laughs> you can see my, my foot is attached to that as I add it to my, to my bicep here, that's good. All right, so we got that on there. Grab these hand controllers and uh, right back into this. Okay, so what I want to do now, again, I want to just grab this guy and go over here. And I want to set, first off, I want to set the foot to none and hit save. This will save me a little bit of uh, insanity here. And then uh, go back in here and grab it one more time. And I'm going to set this bicep to T1. Okay, simple as that. Okay, so. Now it has incorrectly figured out where my hand position is. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I need to fix that. Let's see what else is wrong. I should probably make it so that it follows the actual controller and not whatever the hell is going on there. Interesting that it got that correct though. Now, that's following it, but it's following it on the front, so that's wrong. If I sw swivel this around though, if I swivel this band around on my arm, which is kind of tough because they're not designed to be swiveled around. the sound of my sinews popping. There we go. There we go. Now I can do this kind of thing. But as you'll notice, on the other hand, I do IK to figure out where your hand should be, and it doesn't exactly fuck track the, uh, the elbow. So I can do the chicken dance here, like this, if I have it on my elbow, okay? I can also aim things, well, a little better. It's a little off on the location, probably because of the IK. So again, this is the kind of thing that you can only actually 
really set up with precise settings for all of this stuff. And that's what's taking so long on this next version of Lycon is getting all the precise movement things working right and the uh, locations for all these things. So let's hop back in here and make my avatar a little taller. A little better, a little better. That's not bad, actually. That might have been part of the problem right there all along, just a height trend. So uh, that's where things are right now. And then of course the last page here is where you can export your set and export your FBX files. Uh, dump those straight into your, uh, as a, this exports as an FBX file of animation. This exports as an OBJ file that perfectly maps the virtual set onto this world so that you can take both into your 3D program or game engine and, and have a one-to-one -one ratio or one-to-one -one relationship between the objects you've created and the animation you've created. All right, so that's where we are right now. Just wanted to show you that. I know um, these videos are kind of disjointed and they're crazy looking. And uh, all I can say is this stuff is hard. <laughs> uh, it's coming together though. So pretty soon I'll be sending out a beta that has uh, hopefully all of this stuff working a little better than you see in this video. So check your emails. And then uh, probably tomorrow I will post another video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Oh, right. For more information, go to liberty3d.com slash glycon or facebook.com slash glycon VR. Thank you and have a great day. You are clear for landing.